The graph of f of x equals negative x cubed plus 6x minus 2 is shown below here in blue. We're asked to estimate the solution or solutions to the equation f of x equals negative 10. So we know f of x equals negative x cubed plus 6x minus 2, which means you want to graphically solve the equation negative x cubed plus 6x minus 2 equals negative 10. To solve this equation graphically, we can let the left side of the equation be equal to f of x, and the right side of the equation be equal to g of x. Which means now, to solve the equation, we need to determine where f of x equals g of x. And the solution to f of x equals g of x is a set of x values where the graphs of f of x and g of x intersect. Which means to solve this equation graphically, we need to graph f of x equals negative x cubed plus 6x minus 2, which is already provided, graphed here in blue, so this is f of x. We also need to graph g of x equals negative 10. Notice how g of x is a constant function, which means the graph will be a horizontal line passing through negative 10 on the vertical axis. So the graph of g of x looks like this. And notice how the graph of f of x and g of x only have one point of intersection, this point here. And notice at this point, the x value is equal to positive 3, which means x equals 3 is the solution to the original equation. Also notice how this point of intersection would have the ordered pair 3 comma negative 10. Notice because this is the point of intersection, when x equals 3, we know both f of x and g of x equal negative 10. So because our solution is x equals 3, at the bottom of the page, we're asked to enter the solution or solutions in the box. If there is more than one solution, separate the values with a comma. Well, we only have one solution, so we only enter three. I hope you found this helpful.